that is our solemn prayer this morning that the Lord may revive us again. We wish to welcome all of you to our morning worship today in our Kenyan morning prayer out of service this very last Sunday and last day of the month of July. And we have come together, the people of God, drawn by his spirit and longing for his word, to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in his love and be sent in his peace. We are heirs of the Father, renewed in the spirit, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins in repentance and trust, God is faithful and just, and he'll forgive us our sins. So let us get seated as together we confess our sins to Almighty God. Eternal Father, God of ancestors, before your power all things tremble, but through your Son we approach your throne. repentance and declares his acceptance and therefore the dead are alive the lost are found and his goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you will live in the house of the lord forever Amen. blessed are those who live in your house praise the lord glory to the father in whom all things began The Lord our God forever. Alleluia.
presence of the Lord as we read our lesson from the gospel of Luke chapter number 5 reading from verses 1 through to 11. One day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret with the people crowding around him and listening to the word of God he saw at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep and water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid, from now on you'll catch men. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. Stand together with Christians through the centuries and the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the poorest, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered death was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He'll come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. So we boldly pray, our Father in heaven, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our deliverance. How excellent is your name.
beside our president. May your minister serve you faithfully in the valley of the shadow of death, like trees planted by the waterside. Send us out as the salt of the earth. May the earth be filled with your glory. Today is the seventh Sunday of the Trinity. Together we pray. Our God and Father, we praise you for our Savior Jesus. He saw the needs of all who followed him and had compassion on them, graciously providing for their needs. We pray that you'll show compassion on all who seek you today and abundantly supply their needs according to your riches in glory. Amen. The prayer for the cathedral together. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, cornerstone of your holy church, give our very good gift. Look down upon us, your people, who desire to be the sanctuary to your glory. Grant us wisdom, strength, and resources to accomplish this task in accordance to your will. Inflame our heart with love for you, that we may offer to you ourselves and all you have given us to the glory of your holy name. Amen. You are going to rise up as I invite the praise team to take us through a moment of worship before the Lord. Today, we rise up as we take this moment for worship. Reverend William, you can join the team and you shall make a concluding prayer for us.
in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to take a minute and go before the Lord. He's worthy of our worship. Just take a minute and worship him. He deserves our worship. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. Just take a minute and go before the Lord and tell him that, Lord, there is no one else like you. You are great, you almighty Lord, and you reign, oh God. We give all the glory and honor to you, Jesus, for there is no one like you. We give my time, my own my father lord our hearts before you my father lord in now and reverence to your name oh heavenly father thank you for your love and your kindness upon our lives oh god thank you for your mercies heavenly father have brought us to the end of the month of july oh god we lift our hearts unto thee my father lord with gratitude heavenly father to declare of your awesomeness heavenly king of all glory oh heavenly father we petition you, my Father, this morning, O oh God, with a lot of humility, Heavenly Father, the manner in which you have walked with us, Heavenly Father, for the seventh month, Heavenly King of all glory, Heavenly Lord, that you shall continue to be with us, Heavenly Father, as we usher in the month of August, O oh God. We commit ourselves unto you, my Father, Lord, that you may be with us and encompass us with your grace, O oh Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue, my Father, Lord, shepherding us, my Father, Lord, with your grace grace and especially now heavenly king of all glory as we count days heavenly father for the elections heavenly father we commit our nation unto thee lord god almighty that he may set my father lord your spirit my father before us oh god that he may go before us heavenly father lord god almighty and my father lord sprinkle down my father lord your peace all over this country in the name of jesus christ we pray my father lord king of all glory as you my father king of all glory assist your people in making that decision as you lead them through lord god almighty we pray my father lord for stability lord god almighty we pray for harmony lord god almighty among us your people oh god in the name of jesus christ 
and even among us, as oh God Almighty, may you lead us through, Lord God Almighty, in all the areas that it shall be, Lord God Almighty, that it shall, my Father, take care of us, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you shall preserve us by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We worship you, Lord, and we exalt you, Heavenly Father, because they shall be alive even after August 9th, O oh Lord, and we commit this nation unto your able hands, Lord God Almighty. We commit the referee, my Father, Lord, the IBC and table hands as they deliver credible, Lord God Almighty, elections, O Heavenly Father, that He may lead them through, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father. We lay everything on table hands, Lord God Almighty, that He may see us through, Lord God Almighty, O Lord. And even during this day, Lord God Almighty, we have come before your house to bring bricks, Lord God Almighty, and stand, my Father, Lord, with your work, Lord God Almighty. We pray that He may be with us, O Heavenly Father, as we give our best foot forward, Lord God Almighty, in erecting a sanctuary for you, Lord God Almighty. We pray, Heavenly Father, that He may be with us, O Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty. We want to pray in amidst, my Father, Lord, then that may be feeling, my Father, weak because of the issues of life. The Lord, you may strengthen them by your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Them that are sick in the hospital, you may visit them with your, my Father, divine healing, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And so many other issues that you have brought before your sanctuary. My Father, Lord, even as we, my Father, continue to hear from you, you will minister to our hearts and our situations in accordance to your will, Lord God Almighty. We bless your name and we honor you. These being our prayers, Lord God Almighty, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome the Cathedral Choir for a presentation.
them in a better way. Thank you, choir, for that beautiful reminder of all things should praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. We thank God for bringing us to this great Sunday, the last Sunday of the month of July. We have seen the faithfulness of God, and we just want to thank God for who he is in our lives. On behalf of our canon who is with us this morning, we wish to invite all of you to our morning worship feel at God's uh, presence. If we have guests, kindly stand up so that we may appreciate you. If you are coming to worship with us for the first time, let us appreciate you if you are in our midst. Sota Nueneji. Let us appreciate our guests. We thank God for you. We thank God you. Karibuni sana for worshiping with us this morning. Our pay bill is well indicated on the side walls of the church. You can use it for giving, 593225, and kindly indicate what you are giving towards. Today we are being ushered by the smart ushers from Ruth Rainey. Let us appreciate them. And kindly, our ushers give out the brick envelope to all of us because today is our great Sunday, the 31st, that we have been talking about. Next Sunday, Karoha, kindly come prepared to usher us into church. We wish to bring the following notices to you. Wednesday is our day of worship here at the cathedral. We start in the morning at 6.30 with our devotion and prayer. And how it ends at 7.30. Again, at lunchtime, we have our lunch hour worship service. This week, we have a holy communion service, and we shall be led by the bishop. You are all invited. The same day, on Wednesday, the ladies will be meeting at Lilian Wangoi's home at Rodiroine from 2 o'clock. We wish also to remind you that every last Saturday of the month, we do have prayers here, and you are welcome as we worship the Lord and thank God for the month. Every Thursday is our day of Bible study, and Friday is our day of hymnal, and you are invited for those uh, services. The hymnal is at 5.30. The Bible study is at 5.30. You are all welcome. We wish to invite also for next week, from the 1st of August, which starts tomorrow, to the 6th of August, we shall be having a prayer week, and we shall be meeting here in church from 6.30 to 7.30. You are welcome as we pray and uh, for our nation as we go towards the election in the coming week. We also wish to remind you uh, that the ladies will be having their talent week from the 8th of August, as we get into the Mother's Union Week, kindly prepare, pray, and also uh, be involved as we are led by our leaders. On the 14th of August, we shall be having our Mother's Union Sunday. We are also invited to support them on that particular day. We also wish to remind you that on the 7th of August, that is coming Sunday, the senior citizens will be having their fellowship after the Kikuyu service at the Eagles Chapel. And all those of us who have attained the age of 60, you are requested to register with the senior citizen secretary as you join them in fellowship together. Mwalimu Mwega, who is one of our incoming lay readers, will be having a pre-wedding on the 7th of August. You are invited to come and support uh, Mwalimu Mwega. Today is the 31st of August of July, the Sunday we have been announcing. It is our fundraising Sunday. And we wish to thank God for each one of you, and we believe that the Lord has prepared you for this great day. Kindly ensure that you pick an envelope like the one I'm displaying it and indicate your name and also your phone number so that we can be able to acknowledge uh, the giving that you have given today. We also wish to remind you that we have the merchandise desk outside. You are invited to purchase items that are, are being sold outside there. The 16th 
and 17th of August is our day to hike. We shall be heading to the Abadea Mountains for the hike, and the charges are as follows. Couples will pay 35,000, adults 20,000, youth 15,000, and children 10,000. You are asked if you are willing to go to commit yourself and register so that we can be able to go on with the logistical preparations. On the 17th of August, which will be on a Wednesday, we shall have a service here at the cathedral led by our Lord Bishop to release the cathedral. We are invited for this great service on the 17th of August at 1 p.m. Kindly diarize that and let us come together for that particular day. Tinganga Catholic Dispensary has two announcements. One is that they have an eye checkup on the 2nd of August from 9 to 3 p.m. and the consultation fee is 50 shillings. And also on the 7th of August, a health and wellness medical camp and the charges are 100 shillings. It's with sadness we, and we announce the death of Francis Mashuangubu, who is the son of David and the Mr. and Mrs. David Gubu. Uh, the burial will be on the 3rd of August, and the service will be at their parents' home in Ruth Ruine from 11 o'clock. Let us continue praying and remembering that family as they mourn their son. If you came this morning with tithe, kindly be standing so that we can pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We pray that you may bless us even as we continue to serve you. We thank you for these dear ones who are standing to bring their tithe. Remember them, Lord as they continue to serve you in Jesus' name. As we wait uh, to give our tithe, we wish to invite our secretary to take us through the next session where we are going to bring our breaks this morning. Karibu sana. All the time. Thank you very much. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, we want to thank Jehovah for the far that he has taken each and every one of us. We are here on the month of uh, uh, March, where, by the grace of God, you almost lose about 10 million. And uh, you know we are doing a cathedral of 108 million, which in a very few uh, uh, weeks, we're going to be uh, start construction. And uh, I want to uh, challenge all of us because where we are sitting today, there were theirs and mamas who went to be with the Lord, who did a lot of work to build this cathedral, and that's why we enjoy it. And that's why now we have been given a chance by the Lord so that we'll be able to do a construction uh, for the cathedral. Now, yare mawe ambao tanunua, Itakuwa inaongea even after your departure from this world. So whatever you are doing, you are doing or you are planting. Kuna kitu unapanda, kuna bea unapanda, ambao itakuwa ikiongea even when it shall be not uh, be more here in this world. Kwa hivyo ujue ya kwamba, unapatiana kwa kazaka ya kumenyezi mungu. Daudi alikatazwa kujengea mwenyezi mungu nyumba. Wewe umepatua na fasi. You have been given opportunity so that I'll be able to build the Lord's sanctuary. So kindly, my brothers and my sisters, let us build the house of the Lord. In wakatu usu mepatua, na mambi ya utakupugua after 100 years, hapa hakuna mtu watakua hapa. So all of us shall be, uh, tumekua tuaenda, na kwa hivyo, it's our pressure that uh, to the wanjia kazi mungu. Tuko na mgeni ambaye amekua pamoja nasi, Na nirerida Edward Kajabi. Uh, Sandi sana, kalibu. Na hawa wengine, kwa hivyo, kila kupoteza wakati. Uh, Catherine Mugo, 
na Reverend Anne Mwaura, Ellen Bogwa, eh, Winnie Mungai, Francis Kinudia, Ken Indisho, Michael Porgi Konyo, Kevin Waithaka, Joseph Fatukoko, Edward Mwaura, Lillian Kamami, Mwambiliki Waita, kindly you move because you want to save time, Raina Samuraya, Peter Ngige, and uh, Ravish uh, Ishangai, and also uh, the name by the name, George Kengoli Wawarui. Kindly, if you are among those members, kindly move forward so that we we'll be able to save time. Thank you very much. Asante Nisana. All the youth members, you come behind Reverend Ann. So, hawa ngini wa wathu kwaadha wakuje, iwachie Reverend Ann atakuja bada. Zunanza na Rerida, Rafiki Yangu. Rerida, thank you very much. Rerida, 200,000 makofi. Wote ambao meli kwa kabla heri ni haja simama na wengine. Oyuthi wote ambao mmeongozwa na mchugaji. Na mchugaji. Kaindre mkuja nyuma yake. Thank you mchugaji. Uh, 100,000. Kamami, 11,000. Roko, 20,000. Apo, 9,000. Uh, 5,000. 5,000. Uh, 11,000. 1,000. Edward, 5,000. Na mke wake, ame msidikisha na 1,000. Thank you very much. Those are our youth. Let us, before that, let us appreciate our youth. Thank you very much. To pick you my coffee. That shows we have a church tomorrow. See you. Kuna kazi ya kesho. If mwana yu aneza kuwa mugeni mweshimua. Na wewe, challenge yourself next time. You become one of them. If a youth member can become a, 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 a guest of honor, let us appreciate. Naona kuna mwingine nakuja. Kuna mwingine nakuja. Tupia makofi wana pokuja. Thank you very much, George. George. George, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. We have 10,000. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, 1,000. Yes, thank you very much. The other guest, the other guest, the other guest, Helen. Uh, Cecilia Mbogwa, all the way from US, 50,000. We have Kathleen Mogo, 20,000. We have Winnie Mungai, 100,000. We have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mbogwa Zarao, 100,000. Any other guests? All oh, men who are in this sanctuary, to Simame. Kama ini manaume. Manaume diyo anajengaka kwa ke nyumba. Hakuna manamuke anajenga nyumba. Ata hiyo kijana mdogo wa Simame kwa sababu you become a father one day. If you are a male Simama, any male in this, in this sanctuary, regardless kama ni kijana wa miakambili, a Simame, Kwaya hakuna waze. Kwaya hakuna waze. Ote ni, ni female. Ne? Eh? Ebu toke. Toke. Yasu. Uh, Tukwanya tukwa yukai chini. 10,000. Sima maapa buwana bogua. Sima maapa buwana bogua. Two line. All men tusimame. Two line. Tatoke kwa viti. Tatoke kwa viti tukuje. Tukuje, tukuje. Make another nine here. Kama mko na mzee, umeka na ee, patia ee bahasha mwabia toke kwa kiti. Yes, mgeni, hakuwa manayuthi, hakuwa manalika. Wazee wote watoke kwa viti, wale wameka. Nimeona wameka wengine, vijana. Panda begu kwa mungu. Sidiyo. This is a sure bet. 20,000. 5,000. 5,000. 1,000, 10,000. Yes. Moses, in there come my son. 120,000. 
I mean, I guess I was there. Thank you very much. 2,000, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, 1,000, 5,000, 1,000, 500, 1,000, 1,000. Thank you very much. 20,000, 500, 20,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 4,000. We have 3,000, and also 3,000. We have 5,000. One brick, thank you very much. 3,000, 1,000, 1,000. 500, 200. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 5,000, 2,000, 1,100. We have 5,000. We have 5,000. We have 200,000. Thank you very much. 1,000, 1,000. Apia Samingi, thank you very much. 1,000. 1,000 through pay bill. We have another 1,000, thank you very much. We have 1,000. We have 200, thank you very much. We have 5,000. Let us appreciate all men. Makovi Mazuri Sana. All the ladies. All the ladies. I'm wish you a was there. Kujeni was all the ladies. Just to, to line. Yeah, Sima Makuja, thank you. Sima Mayuwa Kuja, Sima Mahapo. Kujeni, where this is my mission with Mama Mugina from Beka Ponini. Kujeni, all the ladies in the house. All the ladies, all the ladies, all the ladies, all the ladies. This work we are doing, we are not doing it for the provost. Ufanyi kwa sababu ya mtugaji an. Unafanya kwa sababu ni unawekeza kwa mungu. You are doing it because you know kule mungu wamekutoa. Na hii nyumba ama tunanjagea mwenyezi mungu, itakuwa inaongea when you shall be no more. So you are planting, unapanda kwa mwenyezi mungu. You are not doing it because of me, you are not doing it because of bishop, you are doing it because you know pahali umetokana mungu. If you know mungu wamekutoa mbali, Simama na hii kazi yake mwenyezi mungu. Thank you very much, my sister. God bless you. 10,000. We have 3,000. We have 1,000. We have 5,000. We have 15,000. We have 10,000. 1,000. 2,000. We have 5,000. We have 1,000. We have 1,000. 1,000. 1,000, 3,000, we have 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 5,000, uh, 15,000, 5,000, 1,000, 1,000, 5,000, Mirka, 2,000, 1,000, 3,000, 2,000, 2,000, 1,000, 1,000, 10,000, 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 500, 1,200, 3,000, we have 1,000 and 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, uh, uh, 2,000, 1,000, 1, 3,000, we have 10,000, we have 1,000, we have 2,000, we have 2,000, 2,000, 1,000, 2,000, 1,000, we have 2,000 Makofi Kwao, 1,000 and one. We have 1,000. We have 2,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 3,000. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. 5,000. 10,000. 
1000 2000 1000 1000 2000 mama askofu 3000 2000 and 15 weka mkono wako hivi weka ingine abia jiani yako barikiwa mwambie tuendelee kutoa mwambie hata kama hutapata mingi utapata mwingine mingi wakati huo mwingine si ndio fanya hivi shika hivi weka maua kamata kamata angu nimesema angu kamata weka maua kamata angusha kamata angusha kamata angu asante sana Let's put our hands together for James. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless all our guests. May the Lord bless all our Christians. Indeed, we have every reason to thank the Almighty. May the Lord bless you. To na familia ya wapendwa, Mama Monica and the greater family, kindly come forward. They have come to give thanks, and I'll give them a little bit of time. Let's have the microphone for the yeah. Family members kindly come forward. Wamekuja kushukuru mungu. Watatuambia wanashukuru mungu kwa nini. Just one minute for the family spokesperson. Karibuni sana. Karibuni. Hapa mbere kidogo, hapa mbere kidogo. Yes, yeah. Karibuni. God is good. God is good. And all the time. Thank you very much, uh, Provost. My name is Kennedy Yeshu Hashege. I am a friend of this church. I am a member of this church, not by registration, but by choice and deeds. A few months ago, we lost our daughter, our niece, our friend. Her name is Monica Joki Karanja. And this is her family over here. We are very many of us, but this is the small number that was able to come. You know, when you see the polls, like opinion polls, there are those with 90%, 82%, and then there are others. So as we are others, the <laughs> and, and um, we were very happy with what the church did for us. We cannot express our gratitude. You carried us on your shoulders, and you took us through that journey. And Provost, we had a conversation, and we agreed that when you start building the church, uh, uh, we will bring you a few bricks, and that is what we have done today. Thank you very much. Let's get... Um, um, Beautiful, they have brought 152 bricks for the building of the cathedral. <laughs> Tusimame wote wa pendwa, tusimame wote wa kristu. Monica was one of us and this is the family and the youngest will hold the, uh, the basket. Gary, tupatie wimbo mzuri sana. Monica was a great singer. And we glorify God as we uh, bring this family together to give thanks to the Lord. We have come to give you the glory. We have come to honor you. We have come to give you the glory. We have come to honor you. We have come to give you the glory. We have come to honor you.
wapige magoti ili tuwakabidhi mikononi mwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Let us pray. Lord our heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning. We have come, Lord, to join the family of the Karanjas to thank you, Lord, for what you did to them. You have been gracious You've been faithful, Lord, in wiping away their tears in the memory of their daughter, Monica. And Jehovah God, in obedience to your word, they have knelt in your altar today to thank you, Lord, for, took the, for taking them through those difficult times. And God, you saw them through. Our Heavenly Father, we are delighted in your presence today. Because God, whenever we give you thanks, we always touch your heart. And that is our prayer today. As they have knelt before you, the sacrifice they have brought to you shall touch your heart. And our Father, you shall continue to hold them, to wipe away their tears, to give them courage to face tomorrow, and our hope and our, their hope in you, they'll never be disappointed. We want to thank you, God, for each one of them, and especially the parents, the sister and the brother, the uncles and the aunties, and the whole family. And for every person who took part to encourage the family to stand with them, Jehovah God, as you bless this family this morning, May you extend the same to your people, that in this altar, our Father, we shall have many people coming to give you thanks because we always have a reason to glorify you. Jehovah God, as I brought this sacrifice to you, we have hope that Monica rested and she has rested in peace. And we shall join her, Jehovah God, in victory after this life. We want to thank you, God, and we pray for your blessings to continue to overflow upon this family. Comfort them and take them, Lord. And these are our prayer of faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So God bless you, family. May the Lord continue to heal you as you get seated. Buana Akainani. Our preacher this morning is none other but um, our very good friend and a father of this diocese, among the great men who have done a lot of work in this great diocese of Mount Kenya South. He's none other but lay leader, Edward Ruriye Waka Javi, a great businessman in Kenya and a great man in the Church of Jesus Christ. He is resident lay leader at Our Saints in uh, Rimuru and a great friend of mine. Ukisahau hai yote muite baba mungai, mungai ni mimi. And we thank God. You're so much welcomed and we thank God for you. Once we get a very beautiful hymn and we are going to sing from the bottom of our hearts. And those with their tithes shall bring us, we usher in, Bwana Edward, to deliver the word of the Almighty. Let's all rise up for a beautiful hymn and let us sing from the bottom of our hearts to the glory of God.
to thank you this morning that you have brought us here together so that we praise thy name and enjoy listening to your word so that we can be faithful in our faith of way. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I want to say good morning to the church. Morning. Uh, my name is, as it has been said, by our provost, and I want to thank him very, very, very sincerely uh, because of giving me a chance to stand in his pulpit, in his presence. I honestly thank you. My name is Edward Rudiwaka Javi, as he has said, and I come from All Saints Church, Rimuru. And uh, this morning, I was invited by the provost to come and participate in the ongoing uh, Harambe because of building the, the cathedral here. And uh, it's something that I want to enjoy, being a part and parcel of the activity of the church, building our cathedral as it should be. We read a lesson in uh, Luke chapter 5, verses 1 to 11. However, I don't want to deal with all the verses. It is too long if I had to do that. So I have only taken verse 4, and I will read it for you. Verse 4 says, when he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon Peter, launch further on and down your net. Go further on and down your net. That's all I want to talk about. Now, what is all this about? You remember Jesus was preaching all the way on the roads, on everywhere, but at this particular time, he was at the shores of Lake Gari. And there, there were too many people coming to listen to him. They pushed him all the way. Instead of being at the shoreside, he was pushed further into the sea. But let me look at what, what is happening here. One, Simon Peter had been fishing the whole night, but he got nothing. But when Jesus came and he obeyed the orders that Christ gave him, we see him doing exactly what he was requested to do. And therefrom, he got a miraculous draft of fish. A miraculous draft of fish. But before I, 
I proceed on. I want to remind you a few facts. One, the Lake of Garigi has three names. One is the Sea of Garigi, the Sea of Tiberias, and the sea, or the difference is seen here, Lake of Gensarete. Three names, the Lake of Garidi, or the Sea of Garidi, the Sea of Tiberias, and then Genserate. We are told, therefore, that this Lake of Garidi is 13 miles long and 8 miles wide, and it is 680 feet below the sea level. And this creates a feature of tropical climate. The Sea of Garidi at this time was very popular. But these days, it's not very popular. When we went there some time visiting, we found very few people seeing the Lake Garidi. If you are standing on the top level of 680 and you look at the Sea of Garidi, it looks like a sheet of water. So it is a very interesting feature for you to watch from the top. The Lake of Garidi had many, many features that I can describe, but I, I'm not going to take that time. The Lake of Garidi, in those days, there were so many people surrounding it. There were nine homes, different homes, each with 15,000 people. And these people are the people who came to listen to Christ preaching on the seaside. And they came in their numbers and they started milling and pushing him further into the water. And here, when he was pushed further into the water, he saw the boat that belonged to Simon Peter. And Simon Peter, you know who he is and who he was. And uh, at that time, Simon Peter was shaken. There are a few things that I want to observe here, and I'm sure you'll grasp them. When they came to the shore of Lake, uh, Lake Garigi, many people were there, as many as you are here today. And I want to compare something. I said the population in that area, each home had 15,000 people. And most of them came to listen and hear what Christ was saying. Two, they came to see who Christ was. Three, they were very anxious to see this person who was performing miracles. They have heard about him and now they were at, with him at sight. So they watched him and they, they listened to him and they started meeting. So here was Paul, uh, Simon Peter and uh, they have been fishing throughout the night. During the day, you cannot get a fish in Lake of Garin. Most of them are hidden and farther into the deep. But when Christ came, Simon Peter was there. His, his boat was at the distance there. And uh, he requested Simon Peter to be with him. And he asked for the boat to come nearby. 
I want you to recognize two facts here. He requested people to bring the boat nearer to him. He did not command anybody. Christ does not command you to come to him. He requests that you come to him through the choice. Two, Simon Peter was there and uh, they started discussing and he was told this first Verse 4, he, he was told, Now, go a little bit further. Note that. Two, put your net into the deep. Those two orders. The orders were only two. Go further, put your net into the deep. Do not now they are not on the shore. They are just inside the lake. What about your faith? Is it at the shore of believing or right inside your faith? Evaluate and get the answer. Now, Simon Peter almost argued And then, when he started arguing, he found this is not possible. We have been fishing. Listen, we will have to reason together. We have been fishing throughout the night, but we didn't get anything. But now that you say so, I will do it. He obeyed the order out of choice and respect. But he shrank Kidogo and argued, but we have been doing this throughout the night and we didn't catch anything. Even now, I doubt whether we will catch anything. But now that you say so, Christ, and you are the Christ, I will do that. The moment he did that, his nets were full. To add to something, he called his partners. John and James, the son of two, the son of Zebedee. Please come. Hey, we have too much fish. Come. Christ has many in the field. He calls many. And this is the beginning of evangelism. This was the beginning of the evangelism. They called the son of he called the son of Zebedee, then he called the people on the left. There's something that I don't want to, to omit here. I said at the beginning that the Lake of Garin is called by three names. I said the Sea of Garin, the Sea of Tiberias, and the Sea of Gensarate. What is this Gensarate? Let me give you a little details about this. The, 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 uh, the Gensarate is the area to the west of Lake Garini, and it was fertile, and food grown there were very sweet. And they had three names, showing that the place was rich, and the food was nice, and each one of them, if you ate a fruit from that Gensarat area on the west, it was very beautiful, very sweet, and very, very soft and tender, whatever you want to say. And uh, this area of Genserate provided provisions for the people living and surrounding the area of Lake Garin or Genserate Lake. I want you to note that. Now, The conditions changed when Simon Peter dropped his nets. They were full. He called the sons of Sabedee. 
He then called the people on the left. And I have said that was the beginning of the evangelism. But there are many things that I can refer to, but I know it will take me a bit of time, but uh, I will reduce the whole thing. I want to change it to something else. Now I have given you the description of what was going on here, that so many people are there, Christ was preaching to them. Now, there are two things that I want to mention here. Christ, before this, was preaching in the synagogue. That is one. Two, Christ was preaching on the roadside. Three, now he is preaching in the lake. And now he has gone into the lake. And now he is not preaching in the synagogue. He is not preaching in the sea or at the side of the, uh, on, on the shoreline. But he is now preaching in a boat. And the opposition then was going to drive him to preach in the markets, in the open spaces, because the doors of the synagogues will be locked by Pharisees and the scribes and the opposition and the people who will come to oppose him. But he defended himself. He was very, very sharp in telling people what they should do. Now, I want to look at three things arising from this particular theme. The eye that he sees. The eye. Christ looked at the ocean, the lake. He saw a bunch of fish where they are. It was during the day. It was not possible for him to even get a fish. For, for Simon Peter, he could not get a fish during the day. It was not possible. But now he is being told, come on, put the net into the water. But don't remain there. Go a little bit further. This is a psychological argument. We can put, I can look a few psychological effects on this. One, do you have to remain where you are in your private life, in what you do, in whatever you do? You got to move a little bit further on. If you are a businessman, add to, your, to the stock of your shop. If you are keeping cows, add more cow. If you are keeping chickens, add another 100. Don't only remain there at the shore. Keep moving. If you are going to school, get a master's degree. The other day we were reading something in the papers which was saying that in Kenya we have only one nuclear person. One nuclear person in Kenya. And that's a lady Luo. She has a degree, and she got a degree in nuclear energy. Just one out of population of 50 million people. That is in Kenya. See, she has moved on and on and on, and at last she got the degree of nuclear energy. You know what that means. So Christ was telling them, move on. Break the camp and move on. We were having that subject some time back. Break the camp and move on. Christ is telling Paul here, break the, break the camp, move on. And then, what was happening here? I want you to remember this. It is already there. When Paul, when Simon Peter, was told 
put your net further deep. He argued, Lord, I, we've been doing this throughout the night, but we didn't catch anything. But now that you say so, we will do that. Then they went on, they continued, and Christ told him, don't worry, don't fear, don't fear anything, but you will catch the people. I want to talk about the word catch. The word catch has another word very close to it. Capture. To capture. What does this mean? What is the literature in this? What do you understand about this? One, to capture or to catch is to get hold and retain. You will catch people, you will tell them, they will, they will come to Christ, they will stay there. You will stay there. When Christ catches you, you stay there. You stay within the enclosure of his faith. So here we see Christ telling Simon Peter, you will be catching, from now on, you will be catching people to capture. Another better word is to capture. And to capture, I have said, you get hold of whatever you are doing, and you retain it, and you keep it, and you remain there. What does that mean? The third point to that is, when you are caught up with the Christ, the literature of Christ, you will remain there. In your faith, in your actions, in your behavior, in your talk, in whatever you are doing, in the contribution we are doing, whatever we are doing, you will remain there. You don't come today to the church and then tomorrow you forget. You go for 10 years, then you come when there is a need. No. You remain there. You move with the other people. You join the other people. Just like we have seen joining the people, the bereaved family that came here. So here we are. Peter, don't, don't feel, don't, you know, Simon Peter got so scared when he saw that he got too much fish, a draft of fish. He, when he saw, he has them. And now he's calling other people to come and see enjoy the fruit of Christ's presence. Enjoy yourself the presence of your Christ in your life. Enjoy in staying with Christ. Enjoy remaining there. Don't jump here, there, here, there. But there are Two more points, three more points for me to finish. One, I'm talking about the eye now. The eye that sees what it wants to see. I want to remind you about two people who were sitting in a big hall like, like the, 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 this church, and they were sitting there, but they were in a hall. And one of them saw the kettle, the boiling water kettle, making the lid jump, go up and go up. He was called James Watt. When he went home, because of what he saw, and there were many, he created or he invented the steam engine. What do you do when you see something? When you use your eye, how do you do it? How, how, what, what, what do you do? What do you think you have seen? You are now looking at me. What do you think you are seeing? Just a human being. What about if you are outside there? Don't stay like without, just, just don't stay like that. Whatever eye sees, use it. Use your eye. 
to see what you want. James Watt created steam aging just by looking, by seeing. And Christ saw the fish in the lake of Galilee. And he did what we call the miracle of drafting the fish. That is one. The second person who saw something different. He saw, remember this, I'm sure you know, you did the science. He saw a fruit, an apple fruit, falling from a tree. When he saw it falling, when he went home, he came up with the law of gravity. Just because of seeing, who is this? Sir Isaac Newton. Why don't we become like those people? You look at something, you create something. We have too many youths, they have nothing to do, but I'm wondering, do they use their eyes? Let me remember my life in the past, in your presence. At one time, I was in 1952, 54, 55, I was selling tobacco, snuff, and I was making some money. And I was a small boy because there was a lot of poverty. And Musungu alikuwa anatunyanyasa sana. Then I found there wasn't much money in tobacco, in selling snuff. So I moved out. I started selling sugar canes. Do what you can to maintain yourself. Do what you can to drive to love Christ without limits. Me, I sold them. Imagine tobacco, 20 cents. Mangotore matato. Those were difficult days. And even now, we have hardships in our economy. Let us move forward. That is what Christ is saying. He is telling Simon Peter, move forward. Don't just remain there. Move forward. And go to the deep. Don't just be enough with that little that you have. Move forward. That is what Christ is saying. And he is telling us, move forward. Go and catch people. Go and preach. Go and tell them who are there. Use your eye. Open your eye. At Wangige Market, there was a man who was selling yams by the roadside. I used to stop there and buy yams. The other day when I went to Kerenyaga, I found that man with a big shop and a car. Then he greeted me, and then I asked him, where did I see you? Oh, the man who was selling the yams. I no longer sell yams. Now I have this shop. I went to the shop. It was fully stocked. And I have a car. Hey, hey, where did you get all that money? From the yams that I was selling at Wangigi. Just selling yams. He was very untidy. He, was, he looked very unhealthy. But this time, he was clean and well dressed. Please don't remain there. Move forward in your thinking, in your doing, whatever you are doing, don't remain there. And when you come to Christ and he holds you like that, remain there. But break the Come and move on. 
You remember the story of the Mount, uh, the Mount Horeb. Eh? Move on. Don't remain there. Christ orders. He gives two orders. Move on. He go further inside. Don't remain here. Move there. Read if you are reading, if you are in school. Sing if you are a choir. Don't remain there. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What a challenge this morning that we've got to move forward. May the Lord help us. It's a moment of giving our gift, free will offering. We shall be gathered by the church elders as the choir continues to sing. calling us by the name of your son Jesus and making us your sons and daughters and Lord you continue to provide to us and indeed we call you Jehovah Jireh for you have done good unto us and so this morning Lord 
We have brought bricks, Lord, to build your altar. We have brought thanksgiving unto you. We have brought free will offering unto your house. And all this, Lord, we lay it on your table and pray that, Lord, may you accept it and bless the work of our hands. Lord, we thank you also for providing a cup of tea and a snack that, Lord, we may continue to fellowship in your presence. We pray that you may bless it and continue to bless us and provide to those that are in need. For this our prayer in Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Amen. showers of blessings may become our portion, and how I commit this, your servants, unto thy holy and able hands, that, Lord, you may continue to watch over them, walk with them, and bless them. And now to him who by the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and forever. the Lord and let us get deeper. Let us get deeper. Let us go deeper, deeper. And there the Lord has commanded our blessings. We want to thank you for making St. James Cathedral your church of choice. This is the last day and the last Sunday of the month of July. May the Lord bless you. We look forward to have you on Sunday, the first week of August. And the whole of this week from tomorrow, we shall be holding prayers for our nation from 6.30 in the morning to 7.30. You are all welcome. If you cannot join us, kindly join us on Facebook. We shall be live every day for prayers. Kindly join us in giving thanks to God for this nation and praying for peaceful elections and life after. There is life after the 9th of August. All those of, all those of you who are guests, the youths, Bana Edward, 
Moses Mason and the Karanjas family, kindly meet Madam Provost at the chapter that is the loom above here uh, for a word with you. May the Lord bless you. Thank you all our Christians for giving generously your bricks so the church and the work of God may continue. Buana, our bariki, as we get the recessional hymnon.